Hey viewers, and welcome back to Let's Play Shadowrun Dragonfall, the usual director's cut, yada yada, cut directors. Anyhow, we have to go fight as technology. And there's a phone booth over here. Searching the dead drop, you find a package with the telltale markings of the shotgun writer. Re as technology. This is an open request to research data from As Technology, Jewel District Branch. The Aziz conduct their research in secrecy. They use their money and power to obscure the truth. We will uncover their secrets. We will share them with the world. We will level the playing field between As Technology and its competition. The timely delivery of this information will be well rewarded. Freedom, equality, information. Shock will unreter. Optional. Get the project data. Yeah, I'm not going. Your comm link buzzes. There is a series of clicks as the connection is established. A moment later, Paul Amsel begins to speak. All right, we're Naren. That's the AS Technology Complex just in front of you. You'll note the heavy security posted at the front door. Those are AS Technology's employees. They're dangerous to be sure, but you could probably take them without too much difficulty. Unfortunately, the Azis have also contracted Knight Errant to protect this facility. They're the ones that we need to worry about. Just to reiterate, you'll want to keep a low profile on this run. Get in and out as quickly and quietly as possible. Knight Errant keeps a high threat response team on site, and you don't want to tangle with them. Trust me on that. If you do need to go loud, give it everything you've got. You're going to be reducing that building to a smoking crater anyway, but I'd highly recommend stealth over a frontal assault. We won't start shooting till we run out of words. Good man. I'd begin by trying to find an alternative path into the building, something out of sight. Once the facility calls for help, you're going to be on a tight timetable. Well, let's not bother talking with her then. What have we got? A shoddily built soy calf shop. Looks like it's closed. A human and a dwarf, both in their early twenties, stand huddled in the courtyard. They don't seem to notice your approach. She's been gone a long time, Mira. I'm getting worried, aren't you? She's my girlfriend, Heimerich. Of course I'm worried. But she can handle herself. On the streets, yeah. But against the Azis, I... I just don't know. She'll be okay. Brave words, but Mira's tone tells a different story. It's plain as day she's worried sick. Oh man, I don't know what to do, Mira. And I still say that messing with the Azis was a bad idea. What else are we supposed to do? The compound of theirs lit up like a goddamn Christmas tree. They've got more power than they know what to do with. We need that juice, Heimer. Our solar collectors are garbage. If we can't keep the lights on after a few days of cloud cover, how do you think we're going to survive the winter? I know, Mira, I know. But couldn't we have just bought some second-hand panels? They can't be that expensive. She sighs. We could have, sure, before Danny spent our last handful of million on those forged keycards. She straightens up, puts on a brave face. She'll be fine. She'll be back any second now. Just you wait. So that is optional entrance one, but I believe there's another optional entrance up this way. Cheap corporate art. Looks like marble from a distance, but up close it's clearly just made of the projection molded plastcrete. As technology van. This LTD's text coveralls are smeared with sweat and grime. A scowl is plastered across her face. She takes a quick glance at you, then turns back to her work. Unless you're here to help me fix this panel, you'd better stay the hell out of my way. Otherwise, I'll call security and have them drag you out. Well, we could use decking, or we brought Blitz, so have him take a look. Quickly, Blitz shows her the problem. Two mismatched connections. Hey, yeah, you're right. She looks up at you. The scowl has disappeared from her face, but she doesn't look happy either. Look, I really appreciate the help, but I have to do this myself. I'm already way behind, and corporate's going to have my ass if I don't get it done before lunch. Charisma 5. You know, if you're that far behind, you could always go catch up on your other work. Leave me to work on the panel. Be no trouble. A confused scowl crosses her face. I don't even know you, buddy. Why in God's name would I leave you something with the panel that I'm responsible for? Why did I ask technology ever do f anything for you, aside from working you half to death? Let me take care of the panel, and you can clock out early. I'll even spread a little spending money your way. 100 million down. You make a compelling argument. This job has been a load of dreck since they canned my assistant. Screw it. The panel's all yours. I'm off to find a pub. That sounds like a gained karma. It is. This 
panel is a mess. The lock in the casing has been broken and exposed. Cabling spills out in a number of places. Have your decker override the controls for the loading dock door. All right, that's our way in. On the other hand, someone's in a lot of trouble back here. She looks up at you, her expression guarded. Yeah, what do you want? Couldn't help overhearing you two. Going up against as technology, huh? We're not going up against anything. She gestures broadly at her own body. Do we look like Shadowrunners to you? We're just, uh, improvising. Trying to stay in business. He gives Mira a significant glance. The only way you can. Your kids are gonna get yourselves killed. Look, man, we're just trying to keep our business running. She nods. That place is everything to us. We live here. We work there. We live there, we work there. It's all we've got. If we can't keep the shop open, all of that goes away. Well out in the street, broke in the dead of winter. We're doing this because we don't have a choice. He stares at you a moment before speaking. Look, you're obviously a professional. We work at a soy calf shop. We don't know what the hell we're doing. Mira likes to talk tough. Hi, Mer. But she doesn't know the first thing about dealing with corpse security. And Danny knows even less about slicing into power lines. Confidence can only carry you so far. He looks down at Mira and shakes his head. I'm sorry, Mira, but I can't afford to be optimistic. And to be honest, you can't either. Danny needs help, whether you want to admit it or not. The facade cracks, and Mira's face crumples. Yeah, I know. So, can you help us? We need that power, and we need Danny back. I don't think that we're going to get either without your help. You two are in over your heads. If you don't let me get you out of this, power shortages will be the least of your problems. Mira stares at you, her eyes full of mistrust. Then something changes, and the brave facade cracks once more. Her face crumples. Yeah, I know. And I'm worried about Danny. She fishes in her bag for a moment, then produces a thick plastic keycard. She hands it to you. This will get you into the utility tunnel. Danny went down there about a half hour ago. When she left, she should be back in ten minutes. Find her for us, okay? Please bring her back safe. Somebody spent a fair amount of money on this utility hatch, and it's plastered with the anti-tampering warnings to prove it. Take a closer look. A cursory inspection shows you that the hatch has been mag-locked. A fairly sophisticated model from the looks of it. Short of using an authorized key card, there's no way you could get getting past this thing. Well, we just got one, so... The indicator light on the maglock changes from red to green. There's an audible thunk, and the hatch pops open, revealing a ladder leading down to the utility tunnel below. Inspect. This lock appears to be short-circuited. In an instant, you seize up the situation. You size up the situation playing out in front of you. A young elf, dressed in the same shabby sheet clothes that the cafe kids were, Danny, cornered with no place to run. A pair of as-technology security drones closing in for the kill. The drones are low-grade, but they're armed, and Danny's hands are empty. She's in trouble, and she knows it. The futility of her situation is written all over her face. An instant later, the drones' sensors alert them to your presence. They spin in unison to face you. Intruders detected. Weapons detected. Lethal force authorized. Danny's eyes widen, and she hits the deck. The panic spills out of her in a scream. Look out! Uh. Yeah, this is me not being that worried, actually. Danny looks you up and down. When she's finished sizing you up, she puts her hands on her hips and smiles. Thanks for the rescue. It takes a pair to bring a weapon into Azzy territory. Everybody knows that they shoot first if you're packing. I wouldn't have risked it. Life in the shadows is all about taking risks. Yeah, well, life running a soy cap shop is a little more my speed. Not that there aren't risks. There's always the chance that some drunk will break your windows or a gang will try to shake you down for protection. Those things I can handle, but this... She stares down at the smashed drones and slowly shakes her head. Anyway, yeah... I'll admit it. I got in over my head. But only a little bit. The drones wouldn't have shot me. I wasn't armed. But I wasn't looking forward to spending the next week in an Azzy interrogation cell. I've heard stories. That's true, love. He shakes her head at her. Word to the wise. If you're fool enough to try something like this again, carry a gun. Better to be shot than let them take you. I'll have to take your word for it. Not planning on making a habit out of this. She slaps the side of the power conduit with a smile. I shouldn't need to. The tap's all hooked up and ready. Impressive. 
Heimrich was convinced you couldn't pull it off. Yeah, well, it's amazing what you can teach yourself to do when your livelihood depends on it. Blitz leads in to expect her work. Yeah. Yeah, that looks like a pretty solid connection. Nice soldering job on those contacts there. I'd say you're good to go. He straightens, casts a glance back at you. You know, Chief, we could use this setup to our advantage. It wouldn't be too hard for me to manufacture a power spike from here. We could overload the Azius power grid. Without disabling the generator safety override, it wouldn't cause any permanent damage, but the confusion might give us an opening into the building. He shrugs. Your call, of course. Just thought I should bring it up. Danny's eye go wide. Whoa, hold up. If you do that, they'll trace it. As technology will find the power tap, and they'll come down on us. Let's see. We can make it worth your while. No, you can't. There's nothing you could give us that would make up for what you're talking about doing, so please, just drop it, okay? You're right. Nobody needs that kind of heat. I'll find another way in. You should breathe a sigh of relief. Thanks. You know, some people say that shadow runners are ruthless criminals. Guns for hire, just out for the money. Good to see that isn't always the case. I'm gonna bail on out of here. I've been stuck in this tunnel too long already, and like you said, the others are worried. But if there's ever anything that we can do for you, come by the shop. You'll be welcome at our place for life. You step forward to inspect Danny's power tap. The same tap that you promised her you wouldn't interfere with. Feeding a power spike into the Ash Technology power grid would be as easy as crossing a couple of wires. Walk away. There's enough bad in this world you gotta throw some good at it sometimes. Taking bad out isn't the same as putting good in. Daniel looks up at you with a smile. There he is, our hero. Thank you so much, man. Thanks for bringing her back to us. Yeah, thanks. And thanks to you for helping keep the Azis off our tails. If Danny had been captured, it would have been bad. She reaches up, grabs Danny's hand, clutches it tight. Worse than bad, babe. A lot worse. She looks down at Mira and smiles, squeezes her hand tight. Anyway, thanks again for the rescue. We all owe you a lot. If there's ever anything that any of us can do for you, you just let us know. Interesting that you've got the karma for saving her life, but zapping that tap, or not zapping it, doesn't really get or cost you anything. Besides, if you're trying to play it quiet, eh, power feedback, not the most subtle. The glittering halls of the Ash Technology Facility stand in sharp contrast to the Megacorp's unsavory reputation. Everything in here screams money. From the mirror polish on the floors to the obsidian inlays in the walls, the generators and the bloodline project lie somewhere beneath your feet. Oh, and Paul Amsel's chiming in again. Nice work, Renarin. There have been no alerts thus far. Hopefully, you'll continue to avoid detection as you make your way through the building. If an alert does go out, I'll get you an ETA on their reinforcements. But hopefully, it won't come to that. I have marked an elevator on your PDA. I'd start making my way there if I were you. It's the most efficient path to reach your objective. Best of luck. All right. So, we've gotten inside the Az Technology facility. There's a couple things we need to do here. First things first, Blitz. I'm gonna do what we pay you for. Oh, that was dumb. It's not what we pay you for, actually. What you need to do is use suppression. Then go here. That should just about do it. Perfect. Alright. So. Exploder ESP. Be so kind to go there, and then blow yourself up. Beautiful, thank you. And now because I'm heartless... And then we need an erosion. And 
we're done. There we go. And see now the now that I'm I'm back to we're not getting close to the end of the game exactly, viewers, but we are getting there. And I remembered this little part because it ticked me off. Back before you could upgrade Blitz's abilities, I actually had a bit of trouble with that because Blitz by now couldn't hit anything. It was frustrating as all hell. Now, though, he's actually kind of useful. And I'm able to make better use of those exploding programs, too. Alright, so we've got the controls, the elevator, the security camera, and last but not least, the door controls. Which basically gives us the run of the ground floor, except for the... I'll show you after. So what, in and out in three turns? That's pretty good. Three turns matrix time, viewers. Alright, so, we might have seen the guy right there patrolling. There are guards, and if they spot you, the high threat alert countdown starts. The screen of this terminal comes alive at your approach, and as technology login screen awaits your password. Well, we have a decker for that. Have the decker hack the terminal, and we got some more pay data. Oh, I didn't post the pay data from the OSK job. All right. So, terminal over here. As technology inventory services, press any key to begin. Activate the terminal. The Terminator, the Terminator. The Terminator springs to life. You know I have a Terminator. GG as technologies. The terminal springs to life. A quick can scan of its contents reveals little of value. But you do find a message that catches your attention. From Fatima J. Meyer to Katya Lang. Katya, I've got some pretty grave concerns about this new project. I don't know what they're doing downstairs, not exactly anyway, but I'm pretty thoroughly creeped out by some of the inventory requests that have been coming up to my desk recently. When we decided to sign on with As Technology, we talked this over. We knew the company's reputation, and I said that I could handle whatever came my way, but this... I don't know, Katya. This last order crossed a line. What would the research team need with a bulk order of gags, restraints, and 500 liters of hydrochloric acid? Uh-oh. I've got to run. Just got a message over the comm. Looks like Central wants to see me about something. I'll catch you back at your apartment later tonight. Let's talk about this over a bottle of wine. I know I could use it. F. And Dietrich chimes in with, Something tells me that she never got to enjoy that glass of wine. Dietrich, I would agree. Now, Max is going to make this tough. Because we want to do... Sneak by this guy here. I'm going to watch him walk by. Because I think once he goes in there, we can make a break for it. Checks that. Walks over and checks that. Then he walks down. Yeah, that should be our chance to go. Because the problem is it was just my team, there'd be no issue, but... I should probably go right now. No, I bet he's going to circle all the way around. Yeah. So the issue right there is Max, our combat drone. Who unfortunately moves kind of slow. And has got me caught here a number of times. But I really want to throw on those knight errant disguises. Because that's kind of a cool idea. So that's what we're going for, viewers. Alright, time to go. Come on, Max. Alright. Here we go. These lockers are stuffed full of spare knight errant security uniforms. Have your, team have your team dress up. Grimly, your teammates said about struggling into the complicated and ill-fitting uniforms. few minutes of cursing and a couple of popped rivets later, the job is done. You take a moment to examine your team, then nod in satisfaction. They look like a group of authentic knight errant security officers. Officers, Dietrich, well, that's handy. I'm not much for sneaking around, but if we're going to do it, we might as well go all the way. He claps you on the shoulder. Good find, boss. The 
elevator guard steps towards you, his weapon slung. I didn't hear anything about KE assets being deployed in the sector. Why are you here? Charisma 5. Yeah, I was just transferred from HQ. They got me walking the perimeter to familiarize myself with the building. He smirks. Well, enjoy the walk and get used to it. We'll have you walking perimeter for the next few months at least. Then we can go talk to this guy over here. A worried-looking man in an expensive suit is pacing back and forth in his room. His locks eyes with you, and you can feel the fear radiating out of him. He looks surprised to see you, but not alarmed. Oh, hey, I don't usually see knight-errant personnel wandering around this part of the building. And what's up? Just making my rounds. They have double patrols tonight. He looks relieved. Oh, right, well, I won't keep you, but it makes me feel safer knowing you guys are around. Just doing my job. He is actually part of Luca Dare's Black Lodge quests, and that you have to scare the crap out of him. New location. Your stomach lurches slightly as the elevator plummets downward into the bowels of the Az Technology facility. A faint but omnipresent thrumming sound raises the hair on the back of your neck. The deeper you go, the more certain you become. This place is vibrating with power, both from the generators and from something else. Dun, 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 dun. Now, the Azzies in game are bad news. I haven't even played that much tabletop Shadowrun, but. Well done, Renarin. I'm not seeing any comm shatter to indicate the Knight Errant is aware of your presence. Thanks, Paul. I've located a new exit point for you a security door, conveniently located near the generators. I will mark his location on your PDA. Keep up the good work, Renarin. I'll contact you if anything changes. Alright. The door slides open with a hiss, revealing a surprised-looking young woman in Az Technology security uniform. Hear the chanting? She steps towards you, her weapon drawn. Stop! Who are you? She raises her rifle. Identify yourself. Calm down, my name is Mueller. Knight Aaron sent me. She sounds suspicious. On edge, let me see some ID. I don't need to show you anything. Central has some concerns about your loyalty. Her eyes go wide. What? We've never done a thing to... Tell that to someone else. I'm just here to watch the door while you're gone. If what you're saying is true, why haven't we heard anything over the comms about it? Beats the hell out of me. I suggest that you go and ask Central about it. She pauses. This isn't protocol. This entire story is suspect... Look, are you going to report to Central, or do I need to go back there and tell them that you refused their order? All right, we're going up. Thanks for the heads up. Let's clear this. Let's go clear this up with Central. Fortunately, they're too stupid to just go ahead and call them, so that's good. But our stealth run isn't going to last forever, viewers. Keep moving, Renarin. You're almost there. When you reach the control panel for the generators, the password Zolotl should allow you to disengage their safety overrides. Set the destruct and get out. See you back at the cruise bazaar. Ah, here we go. Another opportunity for Blitz to get some ja hacking in. Blitz, let's go to work. see. Well, the usual. Let's knock down our alarm stat. Oh, apparently that's as low as it can go, so. Now, lab blast door. That's what we have to do. Ah, there's the security right there. Let's go erosion. Oh, you're pretty tough. Time for that attacker program, I think. Should be so nice as to lock those guys in their place. And Blitz. Should be so nice as to follow that up with a nice big blaster. 
Nicely done. Now we should actually... You're not going to hit this guy because he's 35%. So what the hell? <sighs> okay, well, you fried to death, so that's okay. You're pretty tough. back up a bit so they can't reach me in one turn and oh I was right you can't reach me in one turn too bad so sad blaster tar bomb nice all right let's keep going going here Meanwhile, you could get that lab blast door open. You can't. Okay, well, if you go that far. Blitz, suppression up? Not yet. Okay, let's go through here. Oh, hello. So let's hit you with everything we got. Can I see what your HP is left? Now yeah, suppression's up. Always got to use that. Unlock the lab door. Let's have you slowly, slowly catch up with Blitz. You fry. You get erosioned. more of those. And medic. Keep going, buddy. These guys have massive movement for their AP. Makes sense, though, I guess. They are just cybernetic programs, so. Let's go one there. See if that unveils the... Ah, uh, security cameras. Hack those. Yes, please. Oh, you guys are jerks. I mean, you missed, but not by much. Blitz, get in there. Again, another reason why I want to run a hacker. Because I'd like to see how good I can make my hacker. If Blitz is supposed to be Nova Hot. Oh, nice. That's timing. All right, buddy. Um, so, tar bomb. And just try and hit him, I guess. Erosion's down. Blaster's not down. And that should do the last bit here. So, I'm actually going to go out this far. Meanwhile... To send my little AI buddy. Facility operation records. That should count for something. Suppression is not quite up yet. Yeah, let's run all the way out there. Nice. New turn. Okay. So, facility operations records. This data store contains records of all data pertaining to the facility's day-to-day -day operations. Let's scan the node for pay data. A cursory exploration of the data store turns up nothing of value. There are hundreds of log files, the majority of which contain spending logistics support. Hmm. We'd have to send Blitz, I guess? I guess I can't now. Well, I guess I missed something there. So, suppression again. We're out of here. All right, let's open this blast door. 
Halt. This is restricted area. Etiquette security. I just got word from Central. Our comm has been compromised, and all author authorizations are being threat stacked. My orders are to proceed to primary defense point and wait further instructions. He holds out hand. I need to see your ID then. You know how make a level clearance works. So hand it over now. Not handing over anything to show me your ID. His eyes widen, then narrow to slits. You think this is some sort of game? Hand me your ID, and I, or I will shoot you. You do that, and you'll spend the rest of your short life wishing you hadn't. My uncle runs this facility. He stands bolt upright. Uh, Dr. Hutzillin is your uncle? I, I had no idea. Please, carry on, sir. <laughs> That's BS. Again, I, I had the security option before, but this is as far as I've ever gotten. This is pretty amazing, viewers. Not gonna lie, Chief, this place is creeping me out. A maglock with a voice print recognition system has been affixed to this door. According to Amcel, Frau Mueller has already logged your voice print into the system, but there's only one way to be sure. Okay. Open up. Authorization Renarin. The screen background changes from blue to green. Access granted. You hear the sound of heavy machinery rumbling to life. A moment later, the locks and the door release. The door slides open, revealing a group of figures wearing green cloaks. The nearest of the figures looks up from his work. His stare seems to bore into you. Lucky we still got a suit and tie, too. Like a... Who are you, and why are you here? His voice is slow and soft, with a slight Aztlaner accent. Answer me now. Bright light system cyber eye. Blind him. For your new security detail, Central sent us down here to familiarize ourselves with the lab. He pauses for a moment, inspecting you. Well, you certainly look the part, and more security is always welcome. But you understand, of course, that I just can't take your word for it. Of course you can't. Why don't you come a little closer? I'll show you my ID, says Glory. Oh, no need. He smiles graciously. I know a better way of determining the truth. In a single smooth motion, he pulls a knife from his belt and draws it along his own forearm. The blade leaves a stripe of bright red blood in its wake. We could let him finish, or we can attack him before he finishes, because I'm super fast. Uh, let's go after him before he finishes. The blood mage's eyes go wide with surprise. Seizing the opportunity, you attack. High threat response team arrival, 19 turns. Well, it's on now, viewers. Get our buffs in first. Hijack comm link. Now he's on our team. So let's mow you down. Glory. Be so kind as to kick that guy in the face really hard. That would be awesome. Oh crap. That's a lot of explosive barrels. Oh man, that's worse than the pestilence demon I summoned that one time. Uh oh. I don't know what you just did, but I'm seeing a sudden burst of calm traffic. You must have tripped an alarm of some kind. Get ready, Renarin. The high threat response team is on its way. Oh, I'm ready. Dietrich, we could use some accuracy here. Eviscerate. Okay, well, we could probably take that thing down. Oh, it's called the Apocalypse. Ha! No. No, I don't think so. What else we got here? Jacking and inspect. Okay, let's, uh... Let's move behind there for cover. Come 
Come on, guys, move up to the barrels. Alright, I need to inspect this guy over here. This terminal has been locked. There doesn't seem to be any way to unlock it from here, but it is connected to a number of other terminals in this room. In theory, a Decker could probably enter the lab's dedicated Matrix server and unlock the terminal from there, but doing so would almost certainly raise an alarm. So I guess I maybe could have let him finish then. Oh well. Time to put you down. Actually, hang on. Dietrich, accuracy please. Many bullets. Lori, why don't you go down there since you've got some skills and uh, let me shoot that thing. That did hurt them. Excellent. All right, and Overwatch burst fire in that direction. Nice. Who are you? Uh, I'm the guy that's about to save your asses. Electro bolts. Don't hit glory. Nice shot. Accuracy is good. All right, Blitz, get in there. Oh, cool, he's got cover behind the monitors, too. Oh, now it's just got complicated. Okay, so let's go. There we go. Walk. 11 damage. And one down. Glory, you're awesome. I ever tell you that? Whoa, that was lucky. Note to self. Dude's got a grenade launcher. You dig it on that. 16 turns. Um, attacker program. Tie that guy down, or rather tar him down, I guess. Be the better term. No, nope, let's do blaster level two. Yeah. And then erosion. Alright, that's the east cell door. Tacker, go open that up for me. Blitz, you need to get moving. We have a north cell door, and then we have something else. Interesting, interesting. Knock the suppression down. Corrosion. Time for you to get gone. Who's still alive? This rate. Glory, you're kind of terrifying. Just thought I'd put that out there. Have some more haste. North cell. So let's have the attacker open that up too. These guys are pretty useful. 
15 turns to the HTR team shows up. Ooh, a bit more serious business, I think. Let's take some cover then, shall we? Friends? I think that guy's probably gonna just bake under the uh, damage over time he's got. He shouldn't be a threat. Yep. Here we are. 14 turns. And we're a lot of bad guys, so. I know we're not, we can go this way. Wounded 13. Three turn cooldown, which is way, way higher. Oh, hey boss, I think you should check this out. Could be important. Could be, but unfortunately. Sentry guys just have to go. That's as far as you can hit. Okay, we'll forget that. Just uh, walk up there first. And, uh, then just shoot him. Oh, right. We've got one more cell door to do after this, too, don't we? Okay, so let's have you go around the corner. Oh, just the one left? So same thing, just around the corner. Erosion. And then just damage. Glory, crack that door for me, would you? That was a meaty hit. Not quite as meaty as that, though. Okay, so can I talk to you now? Test subject? Hey boss, you better come up here and talk to this guy. Uh, of course I can't do it, can I? Makes sense there's a huge ley line here, and there's and it is huge, too. Okay, so this time I'm gonna have Blitz talk to the node, because you're gonna need all the movement you can get just to get out of here and back to the other well I'm going to guess what is going to be the west cell with me well I can just drop suppression so slowly but surely Slowly but surely. I do like that we get two turns in uh, the Matrix compared to every one turn in the real world. Wow, you hit with that. I'm impressed. I'm saying that to be facetious. I mean, it was only a 53% chance, and I've missed with 80% chance several times, so really... That's fair. Okay, so I have to go talk to this guy then. New objective, optional, free the test subjects. The man in the cell stares at you through red-rimmed eyes. His body is marked with obvious signs of his treatment and neglect. He opens his mouth to speak, then closes it again and swallows hard. He tries again, and the voice that comes from him is tremulous and weak. You, you've killed the masters, slaughtered them like lambs. How is that possible? Wasn't easy. Actually, you know what? It was kind of easy. Just another day at the office. Want me to get you out of here? He continues to stare at you, bug-eyed and unblinking, his mouth agape. 
Me? Out? How could I go out? It is my place to be in this cage. It's what we were bred for, but you... You killed the masters. It is our place to die, not theirs. Sorry to disappoint you. The slack-jawed man looked genuinely confused. Disappointment? No, it's not our place to feel such things. My brothers and I have grown here, gestated in tanks to serve our purpose. The masters will it to be so. Purpose? What purpose? What are you talking about? We are test subjects. Our purpose is to suffer and die. His voice is utterly matter-of-fact. If any of this bothers him, he doesn't show it. In so doing, we provide useful research data for our masters. What can you tell me about the Bloodline Project? The mages wake us from our slumber. Sometimes in twos, sometimes more. One is taken to another part of the facility. The testing lab. The rest remain in their cells. The mages run their tests and the entire group dies. So the mages do something to one of you and the entire group feels the effects? He nods. Yes. They haven't chosen a subject from my group yet, but when they do, my death will come. I won't hear the chanting. I won't see the mage. But I will share in the suffering, and I will die. And then another will be grown to take my place. Well, you don't have to worry about any of that anymore. The door is open. You can get out of here. His eyes go wide. It looks as though he's having difficulty processing what you've just told him. Out? But our purpose... Look, from now on, your purpose is to do whatever the hell you want. Now get moving! He nods, wide-eyed. Yes, yes, we will run. All of us. Thank you. Alright, one more guy to talk to over there. Glory. <laughs> Reloading costs zero AP, so... Go wreck this guy, would you? <laughs> nice. Oh, you can do Oh, you can't do this right. Run, buddy! Oh, you're both gonna run, okay. That's good enough for me. Anyhow. West Cell Door. Karma Gain 3. Not too bad for an optional objective, eh? I don't think I need to talk to anybody else, which means I'm free to go murder. Glory. Eviscerate. Ouch. Um. Pretty sure there's a Chivo for this. Ah, really? That's it? Um. Meh. Now you're dead. Blitz, you've got somewhere to be. Terminals display a blossoms to life at your approach. Reams of technical information and arcane figures fill the screen. Unfortunately, none of it is written in a language that you can understand. I'll just copy it for now. Why are they still chanting? I murdered most of them. Oh well. Time to go. No, oh, sort of time to go. Let's see if you can... Get to Dietrich's line of sight here. Good, good. Move there. And then Gloria needs to open that door. Liz needs to go through that door, because we have another terminal over here to hack. We also have to open these generator controls up. Disable the generator safety overrides. The control panel blinks with a featureless command prompt. Wait, what? Uh, walk away. 
look it up, I guess. Another locked door. Wonderful. This is literally why you're here, Blitz. Don't cry. Exploder. Oh. Okay, you should probably back off, actually. Nice, you got them both. Um, let's go erosion. Beauty. And one more for good luck. You missed my exploder program that now has no HP left. That's kind of sad. But I'll take it, viewers. The real world, I think. No. Security door open. Time to go. Okay, let's have a look at that code again. X O L O T L. Okay. So disable the generator. X O L. XOL OTL. Warning. Disengaging safety overrides while generators are in operation is not recommended. Do you want to proceed? Yes, no. Do it. Safety overrides disengaged. Overload the generators. The terminal processes your command. An instant later, a high pitched screeching noise erupts from the generators. Tremors rock the facility, shaking the ground under your feet. Over the building speakers, a synthesized female voice repeatedly states the obvious. Generator overload imminent. Please evacuate the facility. That's done it. Come on, Chief. Let's listen to the nice lady and get the hell out of here. So the generator's going to overload before the uh, team actually gets here. That's kind of hilarious. <laughs> no one can quite, quite make it there. You guys decide to leave too. Gradually, the ringing in your ears clears and the world comes into focus. The generator overload did its job, just as Frau Mueller said it would. The AS technology facility has been reduced to a smoldering crater strewn with a chaotic jumble of cracked marble, melting plastic, and broken support beams. You can barely make out the faint wail of approaching sirens. They're still far away, but they won't be for long. Wow, Chief, that was intense. Nothing I couldn't handle, of course, but this was a little more dramatic than what I was expecting. We just level an AS technology facility blitz. Intense barely begins to cover it. No, he eyes the crater. I guess not. Blitz steps back, blinking. A sudden gust of wind kicks smoke and dust into the air. It's funny. I've heard a lot of rumors about the Azis over the years. Stories about making monsters and consorting with evil spirits. That sort of thing. I've always assumed that they were urban legends at best. Or xenophobia at worst. Definitely not true at any rate. Looks like I was wrong. The Azis are boogeymen, just like the stories say. It's enough to make a man rethink some things. Do we have anything to worry about, Dietrich? Any chance that As Technology Corporate could use blood magic to track us? After an explosion like this? He brushes an errant flake of ash off of his shoulder. Nah, boss, not a chance. Anything we might have left behind, any blood or skin or hair, has been cooked right through. We'll be fine after we clear out of here. The approaching sirens grow louder. They're now accompanied by another sound, the whine of approaching rotorcraft. What they were doing in there was wrong. More than wrong. It was terrible. They had to be stopped, and we stopped them. It's as simple as that, says Glory. The approaching sirens grow louder. Okay, you linger for a few more months longer, but there is no movement in the burning rubble. Return to the cruise bazaar.
Memories of the explosion that toppled the Aztecnology facility keep you company on your ride back to the cruise bazaar. You barely managed to outrun the blast. Now the facility lies buried under thousands of kilograms of twisted rebar and reinforced concrete. No doubt a considerable blow to Aztecnology's activities here in Berlin. Mission successful. It's time to get paid. Twelve karma. And pay data for shock loan meter. Decide what to do with the Aztecnology Technology information. So we could put it up on the web too. Sell it. But for now, viewers, we've run kinda longer than I wanted to, so we're gonna take a break here. When we come back, what are we gonna do with this new magic that lets you kill entire groups of people from a distance? Tough choice. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Let's Play Shadowrun Dragonfall. Director's cut.